We had a teacher who was so strict, you weren't allowed to rap in her lessons. She used to stand out the front going, no rapping. Yes, you as well, Abdul. No need to turn around, Abdul. There aren't any other black people here, are there? And you had the whole morning to get through. <gasps> The weak ones just used to keel over and rap. You'd hear them a hip hop happening behind you. What? I have C A. C -A. Boom, and there was always a whiny kid going. I left my love in San Francisco with ten pounds of indo. You'd say, Abdul, if I hear about rap, black people or the black people rapping away like mad, if I hear about any of it once more, I shall give them to the Sky Fugal. Do you know, at the beginning of the week, there weren't any black kids in my class. At the end of the week, you'd be stepping over black kids just to get out the room. There's Dave. <laughs> Hard luck, Dave. Always knew you were a bit Jamaican. Never let me see you doing that again. Once my friend Haribo came to school crying. We said, what's the matter? What's the matter? And he said his granddad was in a paper bag. One sloppy, cheesy granddad with the melting brain stuck to the bag. So he didn't know what to say. Then I said, Wah! horrible. And then he started crying again. Ha, weedy little bitch. The new teacher said, George, your mum sucks huge penis. Oh. A boy said, I'm really glad my mum called me prick. I said, why is that? He said, cause all the kids at school call me that. On Monday, my goldfish woke me up. Wake up, wake up, he shouts, your dad is dead. I rushed over to the fridge. Who wasn't dead? It was just one of his tricks. Time to take bath salts. <laughs>